Back here at home, a disturbing story out of spring where a family woke up to find their pickup truck had been vandalized. That's right. It was covered in racist graffiti. Fox 26's Ashley Johnson is live in the newsroom with that story. Ashley, the Frankies are a white family who right now have a black friend visiting them. They say they are embarrassed, shocked and outraged by this crime. They thought their subdivision was the perfect place to raise a family and now they're thinking twice. Uh, it just makes me sick. I mean, it's 2015. Uh, racism should be over. People shouldn't be doing things like that. It's, it's kind of ridiculous to me. The Frankies never imagined they would be the victims of such a hateful and racial attack. I have a four-year-old, so I'm just worried to have him outside now. I've got him out of the house, but I mean, if these people live in our neighborhood, what's going to happen next? Why were we targeted and no one else in our neighborhood was? They say Thursday night they were in front of their home having fun with their friend Josh from Louisiana. Friday morning when they woke up and came outside, their truck was covered with racial slurs and the letters KKK across the front, as well as other offensive images. I mean, it's not really what I believe in. I'm, it's not something I'm about. I mean, I don't know why they would pick my truck to put something like that on. I mean, their friend Josh Joseph, who is staying with them, came to town for a job interview. I was mostly shocked. I'm supposed to be moving here soon and that's what I see on the I was about to leave I, didn't, I, was, I felt like I wasn't wanted here just seeing what they call hate speech makes the Frankies livid and their message to the vandals why I mean I work hard for the things I have why are you gonna mess with my stuff it makes me sick to my stomach just thinking that there's people who think that way the Frankies did file a criminal report with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. They are hoping anyone with information comes forward. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Johnson, Fox 26 News. What you say about one who was sworn in as the 83rd Attorney General of the United States. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch in town for the 52nd National Convention of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. But everyone wanted to know her thoughts about Waller County. At the Department of Justice, we are working every day to reorient a criminal justice system that has for far too long incarcerated people of color at a disproportionate rate without significantly improving public safety. While she didn't speak about Sandra Plan specifically, she reminded her thousands of sorority sisters to get involved with their communities. Every child, all our children, deserves support and not suspicion. And every child, all our children, deserve to live in a nation that makes clear with our words and with our deeds that we value them. As she ended, she spoke of the group's long legacy of changing the world. Lest we forget just over a century ago, the founders of this organization took part in their first public act by participating in the Women's Suffrage March, even in the face of bigotry and oppression. Ashley Johnson, Fox 26 News. I got kicked right here in the face, kind of swollen in my nose. 17 year old Dania says she's been the victim of bullying for weeks. <laughs> Here's cell phone video her friend took Wednesday morning. Dania says you can see the bullies attacking her on her way to class at North Shore Senior High School. She says then she was ambushed by grown women who had no business being on school property. Somebody else that came in started kicking me and my friend, she had a whole adult that don't even go there and was fighting her. Dania says at first she was told she would be suspended for several days for being involved in a fight. Galena Park ISD responded with this statement. After North Shore Senior High School campus administrators reviewed all facts, they followed the guidelines as specified by our student code of conduct. Where appropriate and as required by district policy, discipline was administered. The DA has accepted criminal trespassing charges against the two adults who were illegally on our campus. That's not enough. I feel like they need to be punished, you know, um, at the highest level of the law because they assaulted my child. I really don't feel safe because at first they wasn't doing, they didn't do nothing about it. Yeah, it was just like, it was mutual comeback. So that's basically saying that 
I could do the same thing that they, that they did. Dania got a call this afternoon saying she was no longer suspended and could return back to school. Still, her family wants to know how the district will prevent future unauthorized visitors. In Galena Park, Ashley Johnson, Fox 26 News.